Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back on Mark's Aquatics, right? I'm down my local aquatic shop and I thought I'd show you a little bit of what they've got in stock. They've got all these tanks. Hundreds of them. I'll spin the camera around and we'll have a look and see what and see what there is about. Oh look at that. A load of golden zebra danios in this turtle tank there. A little loach as well whizzing about. As you've seen in a lot of my videos about breeding certain types of fish. Now these these long finned um, leopard danios, as you can quite easily see the females to the males. Now there's a male right right there. They're nice and slender and the females have got the big round bellies. You can see them full of eggs. And if you had bought a couple of these today, you may have them spawning in a couple of days in your tank. No trouble at all with some marbles on the base or some thick gravel so those legs can fall in between. And as we know, they like to breed first thing in the morning. So uh, you can see that little male down, down there posturing away. Try and get him in the center of the screen view there. Look. See him posturing around with the girls. And that's all you want. Get a pair of them and you can end up with 300 within a week. How about that? Let's see what else we got. Got some zebras down there as well. They're the ones we bred, the long finned ones. Super easy to breed as well. All the platies up the top. We've got some giant danios in here. They must, they, I don't think they've been in too long. They look pretty, pretty spooked. I haven't settled in yet. Little bronze corrie down there. Where'd he go? Oh, he must have shot off as I put the camera next to him. But you got some golden sucker loaches there as well. Look at those guys. He's quite cool. Yes, I'm going to have to do another video on the glow light, breeding glow lights, because the last lot that I put up was taken down because uh, I accidentally used a picture on my thumbnail and um, I got told off for it. So I got, a, I got a strike on my channel for that, which wasn't very good, but I was learning then still. So that was taken down. So all that knowledge has been stripped away from YouTube. So I'll have to make another video. Now you can see the males and the females got the males there nice little skinny little bodies and those females with big plump round abdomens there full of eggs all ready to rock and roll and the same with these tetras as well guys because some of these a lot of you have been trying to breed them and oh dear we've got a sick little otto there i'll have to tell one of the guys there to take him out um yeah if you look at some of those neons down here some of you guys have been saying the eggs have been going white now the reason for that is either for two reasons the the males are either too young or they're too old and they're past it could be an infertile female as well but if you put if you just swap them around put some new blood in there you'll find the right ones and they'll start working for you without no trouble at all got some gorgeous ember tetras in here and they're quite large as well some beautiful sized ones for breeding i might pick up a couple of these guys while i'm here as i can see some very fat little females in the back there and some nice little males as well and they're beautiful colors so uh, be interesting to breed those little guys for you because i haven't done those yet i don't think i have anyway got a heap of crebensis here look at those guys all coming up waiting to be fed super easy to breed these guys too i think i've done a video on these if you're not sure about it go and have a check the videos out and pick up a pair of these you can see females are nice and plump as you can see and the males are a little bit more of an extended top dorsal fin than the females Blue Emperor Tetris. Now that's one that I bred a long time ago. I haven't bred these for you yet, but they're a little egg scatterer as well. Super easy to breed, lower pH around sort of six, I would say, 5.5 to six, probably 6.5 actually, you get them going. And they're very easy little guys to breed as well. Same with all of these little tiny, these little Tetras, the, uh, the bellies on the females is a lot more rounder. And just keep your eye on for the bit of the older, the older fish in there. And if you watch these shoals for long enough, you'll see, I know it's very hard to pick them out once you see them, but if you've got, if you're with the guys down the shop and they, and you see them, they'll know what you're, they'll know what you're talking about. And you'll see the males to the females and they'll pick you out a pair, okay? So that's easily done. What do we got there? Some lemon tetras. Yeah, beautiful little fish as well. That lovely little red hue over the top of the eye there. And that little yellow and black tail fin there. Stunning little fish. 
Rummy Nose Tetra is one of my favourite. Bred these for you as well. Another little egg scattering fish. Gorgeous little red nose. There's a couple of different species you can get of these. One's not as red. They're a bit rarer to get hold of. But these look absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Rummy Nose Tetras. Now a lot of you people have been asking me about my Ottos because that was the last um, video that I put up before I had a break. As you can see we've got a big gang of them down in this tank here. Now the ones that I've got up at the house, we only had four that came through and they're about half the size of the, the, the parents now. I'll do you a little update video on that very very soon and you can uh, you can see you can see how they've grown, okay? Well we've got some very excited little angel fish here, all waiting to be fed. <laughs> and a scatty little bunch of clown loaches there. Look at those guys, they're stunning they are. Absolutely stunning. Nice to be kept in a group. As you can see they're a little bit spooky, they like hiding in their log. Out of the way, there's some more down there. Look at those little guys. And wow, that's something you don't see often, look at that. We've got some lovely uh, zebra ottos down there. Now I've not bred those guys before, they might be interesting to give a whirl as well. Fantastic stuff, we've got quite a few in here. Look at that munching away. <laughs> oh, look at that now, we're in the in the sea section. Let's see what we can have a look in here. Now just something here that is warranting this price. My goodness, eight, nearly 900 pounds. And it is that little gem tang there, right at the back. Look at that guy. He's absolutely stunning. But you're gonna have to have deep pockets to buy him. But he would be a stunning, he keeps hiding. I don't think he's been in here long. Fantastic, look at that, little gem tang. Stunning fish. Now yeah, look at that pretty little clown trigger in the back there. Absolutely stunning. I used to have one of them guys, nearly the size of a rugby ball many years ago, but uh, he went to a big exhibit. That's a stunning little fish, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful fish. And we got a little bicolor angel there as well. Little pajama rat hiding in there somewhere. Mimic tang. Absolutely stunning the colours. Now some of you guys, will be, they'll recognise that little guy there from on the Coral Reef programme. He's a little cleaner wrasse. He's the one that goes around and cleans up all the other fish. Opens up his little service station with his mates. And they go in and out of the gills, picking off parasites and all that great stuff. And keeps all their friends nice and clean. Oh, there's a little goby there. Look at this little guy. He's a, like Aunt Blenny, if you remember her. Little Tom Pot there, little feelers. Stunning little guys, brilliant stuff. Some baby little volatans, little lionfish. And the little guy at the back there, absolutely stunning. Give you a nasty little sting. There's a force, a little, little fuzzy dwarf there as well. Look at that, pretty little guy. Got a nice liar tail hogfish in there. They're stunning little fish. Look at that, beautiful colours. Got a couple of mates in there as well. A little blue-headed goby somewhere hiding. Oh, there he is, right in the back there. Little six-bar wrasse. Little jewel puffer. There he goes. He's coming up because he thinks he's going to be fed. A nice sailfin tang up here. There was a little Koran angel somewhere. I think they may have sold him. Oh, look, now you're all, look at this little guy, look, absolutely stunning, the old cowfish, longhorn cowfish. Hello, how are you this morning? Absolutely marvellous, young man, and you? Yeah, not too bad, glad to be back on the scene. I've missed you guys. Oh, here's the Koran. We've got a Koran here. And a little, I'm not sure if that's a little Stars and Stripes puffer, that one. Beautiful little fish. Beautiful little fish, look at that. Nice little maroon clown there, with his little chalk, little chalk goby there. Oh no it's not, it's a little blue cheek. 
little blue cheek goby there, sieving the sand, cleaning up the place. Now here's a spooky little guy there, look at that little blue ringed angel. If I keep still, he might be. There he goes. Oh, I won't annoy him, he's a bit scared. Oh, that's nice. They've got a nice little brackish area now. Look at that. We've got some puffer fish in there and a beautiful archer fish as well. Let's go and have a look at that guy. You can see where he's been spitting through the top of the water there. Look at all this staining on the top here. Probably been spitting flies in the shop. We'll have a look at him. Oh, he's stunning. Look at that. Beautiful fish they are. And all these little cute puffers. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around I'm going to have a look at all these different species of fish that they've got through all these different tanks here and I'm going to put some nice music to it and show you to music what they've got in the shop okay because everyone thinks I'm mad in here walking around talking to myself <laughs> 